Hello, this is a video on an authentication problem I had with Outlook 2016 or possibly 2013 where you can see on the screen you load up Outlook and it basically just sits there flashing an authentication window at you uh, about four or five times and it doesn't let you type any in usernames or passwords in and it doesn't connect and doesn't download your emails from Office 365. Um, you click on the password needed along the bottom where it says need password and it just pops up the same message or not even message, same blank dialog box over and over again. The fix for it for me was to go into regedit and add a D word into H key current user software Microsoft Office 16.0 common and identity it's called enable ADAL and you set it to zero and you get the old legacy I guess or um, exchange type authentication pop-up box where you can type in a password click OK as you'll see in a moment and uh, it accepts the password and connects and, and off we go. It's downloaded the messages and the bottom right it says connected to Microsoft Exchange if I close and load Outlook then uh, you'll see it reconnects correctly also, apologies for the massive redaction across all of the screen here. It's got client details on it, which I obviously can't just post to YouTube. Um, but yeah, loaded up again, connected to Microsoft Exchange in the bottom right-hand corner, and uh, we're all good. So there are several ways I tried to fix this. Um, one of them, which I really didn't want to do because it changes the entire Office 365 organization config, uh, where you turn off OAuth2 client profile enabled, and you say you set that to... Uh, false or whatever via um, PowerShell is a terrible way of fixing this problem because you basically if it's just one computer in your organization for example this machine which is having authentication problems for whatever reason you're basically removing a, a, a huge advancement in authentication where you've got OAuth uh, and putting uh, the, the legacy authentication on it I really just wanted to make the change for this single user because it's the only thing I needed to do. So yeah, then in the registry on that single computer in HKEY current users software Microsoft Office 16.0 or maybe if you're using um, Office 2013 it might be a, a lower version um, common identity and then you create a new value in that folder called enable ADAL uh, I'm not sure capitals matter, but it's capital E on enable, and then the ADAL uh, letters are also in capitals. It's a D word value, and its value is zero. And uh, yeah, it basically seems to disable OAuth2 or the the modern authentication. And uh, when you next load Outlook, you can actually type in the password. I hope this has helped. If it has, um, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to this channel. You don't have to have notifications switched on is just the subscriptions which uh, would really help me so uh, hopefully that's helped and good luck